I've got a model here, Tomte. I'm going to talk about some practical carving things. We've cut this out of basswood, and like the other figures that we've carved, I typically like to draw, sketch a few lines on there first. I always like to do the gross anatomy first, uh, get the big picture. It would be premature if I started to put details on before I knew where I was really going. So I'll turn his head a little bit, put his nose about there, and to make sure that I can get his head turned effectively, I'll draw a line thrust the top. That's going to be the center where I want him to look. Some lines there to kind of remind me that the head wants to turn. And this perpendicular line that I'm drawing in here is one that I think of that's where his ears would start if they were showing. So now I'll just do a little sketching on this side as well and start. I want to get the mass off first, the big chunks. I'll start here to force his head to turn and I'll get his his arms to stand out, to hop out by removing what isn't arm. Now I'm starting to got his arms defined, his face is coming along. I'm getting it's thinning up a little bit now. I'll do some put some clogs on him. I don't want to get him too too detailed either. I want him to stay a little bit rustic. I want to have his beard a little bit uncombed. I doubt that he did much of that. Make that kind of chunky. And because his head is turning to his left, I think I'll have the eyes cooperating there and have him looking off in the same direction as his head is turned. This style of carving really lends itself to having facets so that when the, the light hits it, the light sort of bounces off these flat facets like the facets of a diamond and it's logical that it would have that his jacket shirt whatever it is tunic would have kind of bunched up here anyway if his arm is bent 